Spark Invest Big Ideas for 2021. Deep Learning, Software 2.0, Big Cycle for AI. What is that all about? In this video, I'll try to answer that and how can we use that information to invest in our portfolio. Let's jump in. Welcome back everyone, Ali Casey here from Stadioasis channel where I teach you about algorithmic trading, investing, finance and everything related to that. Basically, we want to make money, we want to build wealth. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded to the channel. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much, really appreciate it. Either way, smash the like button as this will help the channel grow. Now, Kathy Wood or Catherine Wood, whatever you call her, she is the CEO and the CIO of ARK Investment. It's an investment fund managing about 50 plus billion dollars and it's an active management. Now, Kathy Wood did an amazing thing for me personally because she democratized the hedge fund industry. Basically, before Kathy Wood, you need to have a, an active manager to invest your money. You need to be an accredited investor, basically having a net worth of $1 million and above. And even then, you need a minimum of $1 million to invest and so on and so forth. So what Kathy Wood did is actually she went against the trend and she made an ETF where it takes five, six years to manage enough funds to make it worthwhile because, you know, these managers depend on collecting fees and the hedge fund industry depend on 2% management fee, uh, maintenance fee, what they call, and 20% out of the profits. So usually they can be profitable within launch. But with ETFs, you need to manage billions to make it worthwhile because your man, man, maintenance fee is usually less than 1% and that's it. You don't collect uh, a percentage out of the profits. So really then you need to hit a ceiling. And so usually managers stay away from ETFs, but Cathie Wood, uh, she bucked the trend and she went with that. And I, I like that. Why? Because that shows, uh, first of all, dedication and long-term vision because, you know, you're going to need three, five years minimum to be successful, to manage enough funds to make it worthwhile. And of course, her performance is like outstanding. I mean, let me show you her latest. Uh, this is the one year performance of uh, her funds. They manage eight funds. And look at these numbers. This is one year. 63%, 53, 52, 52, 50, 49, 33, 16, and zero. And of course, if you uh, go back, then the numbers are staggering. And look at this, since inception in 2015, 600, 500, 300, 150%, and so on and so forth. So, of course, if you just Google Kathy Wood or Catherine Wood, Ark Invest, you will find a million videos on her and on her performance, on her picks. Really, she's a star, but she deserves it. She totally deserves it. She's an active manager, uh, one that uh, uh, very humble, there is no ego. She surrounds herself with smart people that do the research. So one of the other things that is different for ARK Investment, where they are different than Morgan Stanley or, <laughs> or any of these investment houses or BlackRock or Vanguard or these ETFs houses, the main difference is also, which is, uh, is very fresh, is all their research is available online for free. So all their research is transparent and free available on their website. And what they do is usually they every year they have this big idea book. They call it big idea book. And if we jump, this is the big idea book of 2021. And you can see that they have about 15 ideas. And these ideas are not, uh, they are usually revolutionary somehow because that's what uh, Kathy looks for. She looks for disruptive new technologies and here is the main idea deep learning so deep learning which is the most important software breakthrough of our time why because until recently humans programmed all software but deep learning will form an artificial intelligence ai that uses data to write software basically that means that deep learning or ai or software 2.0 it will be able to write the code instead of us that's what mainly is going to do and according to their uh, investment, uh, deep learning will add $30 trillion to the global equity market in the next 15 to 20 years. 
Now compare that to the internet, which is huge. It added 20 trillion so far. So when we say 30 trillion, that's one and a half times uh, the, what the internet did and in a shorter period of, period of time also. So that's huge disruptive technology, just like blockchain, just like genomics. And, but AI will play a huge part actually on both sides. Now, this is not something new. I mean, relatively it is new, but the fact is since uh, 2018, uh, Facebook, Google, Amazon, and open source AI, they actually all spend billions of dollars developing AI to understand uh, basically text language. But really this, this step now, because the curve is exponential, so we are making jumps, leaps and bounds, and instead of, you know, step size uh, upgrade. And you can see actually from uh, this curve, you can see that in, uh, in 2020, deep learning powered almost all large scale internet services, including search, social media, video recommendations, of course, with TikTok, with uh, YouTube and Instagram. And during the next decade, the most important software will be created by deep learning, enabling self-driving cars, accelerating drug discovery, and much more. And the reason we have these leaps and, uh, and big steps is with the, something called GPT-3. So to understand the, this generation of GPT-3, Basically, it's the third generation, and the last generation used to be able to do one and a half billion words per day. Now, this generation can do four and a half billion. And the reason is because we have so much data set that we can feed these AIs now. And of course, the advancement in technology being the hardware that this software can run on. So we have advancement in hardware and advancement in data sets available. In fact, Spotify just made 200,000 podcasts available as audio to text. So, and of course, with all the text available on the internet, more and more and more and more huge sets available to these AIs to study and manipulate and come up with their own data where they can write poems, write sentences, blogs, AI, email, code, anything you can think of now they can do because of this advancement. So as you can see here, GPT-3 can also write emails, design web pages, write code in dozen computer languages, retrieve historical facts, translate languages, diagnose diseases, converse as a therapist, diagnose, and much, much more. So you can see this is huge. It's going to affect multi-industry. Uh, it's not specifically to a certain part of technology. And you don't need to be afraid that, you know, <laughs> Skynet is already here because I'm going to give you also another comparison. So while GPT-3 is very good and it's extremely powerful, it's 115x, its previous predecessor, but actually comparing it to the brain, it's like 0.175% because the brain have 100 trillion synapses, basically parameters connected. So that's how powerful our brain is. And that's how far the current AI is. Although it's leap and bounds better than before, but it's still less than 1% of the capability of the human brain. But it can do it on larger scale. It can do it without uh, whining. It can do it uh, uninterrupted, 24 hours a day, 365 days a week. And of course, as we already know, this will only get better and better because we have better uh, hardware and most likely the AI will write its own code in the next version so it can even grow bigger than we humans can code that AI. I mean, I've uh, read some uh, books that says, you know, it's within five generations and some say it's within 50 generations. But uh, we know the end point is there. Skynet will happen at one point and hopefully by then we have some really legit rules to contain this AI, not to hurt us humans. So just like Apple disrupt the phone industry, because the side effect of that is drones. And you might think, what's that has to do with it? You see, when Apple kept miniaturizing the hardware and they started including the accelerometer and the gyroscope and the GPS on a single chip, 
So the more iPhones they manufacture, the smaller that chip got and the cheaper it's got to be produced because now they're producing uh, hundreds of millions of these chips. So that chip got so small and so cheap that the drone manufacturers started using it because now they can position this drone in the air perfectly still using that uh, chip. So now you can have this drone uh, with a camera photographing solar farms uh, with uh, infrared imagery photographing uh, farms with infrared where it can tell you that no this tree needs some uh, some fertilizer or this solar uh, panel needs to be replaced and so on and so forth of course other than the videography and photography but really the drone revolution it was developed hugely because of this chip that came from iphone so the fact that iPhone did this democratized the drone industry. Same thing will happen with AI. The AI will make this algorithm, this AI available for us normal people on small chips that we can now bring this automation to anything, to any facets in our life. It will really help us with things we cannot see now. Just like we wouldn't able to see in 2009 what the iPhone can do today. It's really, it's hard to extrapolate somehow because you don't see it. Okay, so now as consumers, we know that we're uh, getting into this cycle. This is a 20-year cycle, 15 to 20-year cycle, just like the internet changed everybody's life. But as investor, how can we make money out of this? Of course, by investing in these companies. And one of these companies is a company called UiPath. So UiPath, it's actually currently uh, just went public, I think, in back in April. And they are uh, on a high growth trajectory. They are doing very well. But I mainly want to show you this, that, you know, you each company can come in and they can grow with it or they can actually build on these tools to automate every aspect of their workflow. So the company creates tools that can generate robots that does chatting, payment processing, data mining, uh, document understanding, signatures, uh, data services, write apps, write uh, tasks, uh, develop products, really every facet of every enterprise, every company, every industry can be automated and scaled through this company uh, software tools. And of course, it's not just me who saw UiPath. In fact, I saw it because ARK Invest did the investment in it. So ARK Invest, from day one where UiPath went public, they started buying shares and they started accumulating on and on. And in fact, in the last day of June, ARK Invest bought 850,000 shares of UiPath. So how can I know the total? That's the other advantage of investing with Cathie Wood. See, because Cathie Wood runs an ETF, it's a public ETF, so everything is transparent. Again, just like their research, their buying and selling is very transparent. So we can see here that the top holding still Tesla at 7.3% weight. And you can see that UiPath now at 1.93 weight and 3.3% holding uh, from UiPath. That's valued at $846 million. Now, that's a big uh, chunk of change, of course, but compared to the $50 billion that ARK Invest managed, it's still, it's not a lot, but it's also not nothing. So that's a huge bet from ARK Invest on UI uh, path. And the reason is because Cathy looks for always these 10x, uh, 5, 10x moves in every investment she makes. She's not like looking to match the S&P 500 returns. And that's an extra addition to why I love Kathy is because that's what she looks for. She's not your regular uh, investment advisor. So, of course, you can replicate ARK Investment uh, by following their uh, buy and sell signals because really uh, ARK Investment are not trading in and out every week. They are long term and usually their holdings is like at least a year or two years. But the other way to invest is actually to invest in their ETFs. And I'll tell you why this is a better solution. If you do your own investment research, or even if you are following ARK Invest, you are actually spending time and and what usually used to cost 2% maintenance and 20% profit sharing, 
all ETFs, you, most ETFs usually have a less than 1% maintenance fee. And actually, ARK Invest, they have one of the highest, which is 0.75% fee. But even that, that actually is nothing compared when you, you know, looking at five years down the road, making 50 or 100% on your uh, investment. So that 0.75% is really negligible and when you look at it that way. Especially at the time and money that it's going to save you. Because it's going to save you all the hassle to do the research, to replace those stocks in and out of the funds. And uh, to find these new opportunities uh, to uh, invest in. So I think the better solution is to buy a portfolio of these of ARK investment funds. And this will be a portfolio separate than your other portfolio. So you as an investor, let's say you are like me, you're diversified with tactical asset allocation portfolios. And then this will be a different portfolio because, because this is most likely not correlated at all with your portfolio. Because you see Cathy is going in and out, not based on monthly signals. It's ba based on macroeconomics and fundamental reasons in that company and look ahead. So that's totally different than what you're doing, most likely. I mean, it's totally different than what I'm doing because I mostly am a mechanical trader, algo trader, whatever you call it. So I only trade uh, signals. So it has nothing to do uh, with fundamentals or uh, research. So I hope this video was beneficial to you to make good investments. And of course, I am not an investment advisor, but uh, this is what I'm doing with my money. And I'm, you know, providing the best information that I know. And I'm not affiliated, of course. <laughs> not, not that I refuse that, but you know, why would they be affiliated with me? But in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded to the channel. As always, if you have any questions, please do comment below if you like it, dislike it. If you are investing with the ARK Invest ETFs or you have other ideas, do comment below. And you can always also send me an email directly to ask questions or to share your comments. And of course, you can always also join the Discord server with, through the Patreon link down below. As always, good luck with your investing. Good luck with your trading. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.